What's up guys, welcome back to our channel, it's Zee and Abs, it's Abs Project. Abs, what's this episode about? <coughs> this it's a bit of a special one, isn't it? It's about this red Arthur Eagle. Look at all these projects we got, just standing here, doing nothing. Yeah, Supra, 300 ZX, let's Skyline, Range Rover, Skyline, Skyline, E30, GTR, Supra, Supra, E30, Audi, 300 ZX, and then we got more in that garage. But yeah, like Abs said, it's about this beautiful R34 here. Do you want to talk about it, Abs? Yeah, no, let's talk about the GTO first. Oh, you want to write the first, first ever, ever twin turbo, turbo JDM motor we ever bought. 15, this is, 16 years ago, isn't it? No, it's been 18 years now. Yeah, we bought it, it was all done up, it was nicely kitted up, it had um, Advent three spark alloys on it. I mean, Actually, yeah, we will see if we can upload a quick picture up here, but I can't get to it right now. That's, yeah. ooh, look at that, it's just a. Uh, a proper. sleeping beauty. And it was a proper lowered car. Awakened beast. And then the original bumper, the story was the original kit if we gave it for a respray. And we left in the workshop and the guy had it for so long that he lost all the kit. So they had to reorder the whole kit. I couldn't find it. Luckily I found the uh, front bumper and its uh, rear bumper. Just needs respraying to be honest. But it's respraying. Been parked, uh, it's been parked away. It's like Bumblebee, black and yellow. Yeah, that, uh, Transformers, yeah? Transformers, that's <laughs> one, yeah. <laughs> anyway, came back to the R34. So, well, I mean, at the moment, what we got there? We got a original GTR front fender there. Yeah, front that's right. We've been damaged. We bought two of them, still one, but they're a bit damaged. Yeah, but I reckon we, we're going to go back to stock on this one. Reason being, go on, Abs, I'll let you talk about the it. Reason being, we bought this car from a, a young boy. Um, and uh, funny enough, he started stripping the engine, there was nothing wrong with the engine. It only and believe it or not, it's done 4,700 miles since new with service history. 4,700 only? Yep, it's called with the what Japanese days. service history. It's not registered. And what is it, 96, 97 model? 97. 97. And the, the thing is, it's not even been registered in UK yet. It's still good. It's, it's uh, import. All we've got all the documents. Uh, we've got that we've just rebuilt the engine. That's why he stripped the front end really because yeah, he was yeah. gonna rebuild the engine he, he stripped the engine and we didn't get no front bumper, no headlights, nothing with it. Yeah. So, so it is as it is right so now. Yeah. Uh, so we re engine rebuilt, it's all in there. Uh, but we obviously should have done this, but we're not. So now what's gonna happen with this car is this is going for storage. We're gonna park dry it stored in, in the we are in, in winter into one of the other properties, uh park in the garage dry store for winter and uh yeah, see how it goes, and then maybe later on. And oh, another thing, uh, it's always hard to find parts for these as well. Now, luckily, I found two brand, well, not brand new, second hand used RT Xenon headlights from Australia. And funny enough, for both of them were cheap, very cheap. Pound yeah, normally they're like five pounds each. We bought yeah. it for 200 pounds. 280 pounds, yeah, 280 pounds all in, delivered and everything, paid the tax, whatever. And uh, yeah, so we got those headlights. Uh, we were original plan was to make this into a GTR kit, but we're not. But we thought, you know what, 4,700 miles. Uh, we want to ruin it yeah because we got we got this we one got this baby here anyway yeah. we got this beast over here so an r34 and we're doing we're going to be doing a z-tune to this one yeah so we got Z -tune just like the r33 here yeah but we've already got the z-tune kit we've got for the r34 i so love the, this r33 this has come out nice so the gta kit that we got for the red one but that's actually spare kit so we could be looking for another um r34 uh, car shell um, yes shell let's get another shell yeah so yeah so I think we need to move all these cars out of the way. We won't get this on camera. Once we get all these cars and that's uh, made some space to bring that one out, then we'll do a little walk around, talk about that, more about the R34. So uh, let's get cracking. Ooh, ooh, oh my God, would you look at that? That space is empty. Hard work, hard work. But it's loaded and ready to go. What a beast, what a beast. All right, Abs, take it. Goodbye, R34. See you next summer. Bye bye. Ooh. And then there were two side by side. A 
there's Ab's first turbo JDM Mitsubishi GDO twin turbo Mark 1 5 speed. Go on. We've got the beast in. Both of the R33s are in. R34 is loaded. And the yard seems to be full again, apart from this side over here, which is empty for another car, Abs. Yeah, well, we, we need another car. We've got people 300 coming as well. Oh, service. that was a surprise. You just ruined it. You ruined it. Edit, yep. Edit, delete. <laughs> Edit, delete. No, can't do, can't do. Yep, we've got another 300 ZX coming in. It's a non turbo NA Auto. Uh, and it's coming from. Nash from Restless Customs, where this beast came from. This and the other beast, which is in the garage, the shell, and the other 300ZX. So, three 300ZX. Uh, big shout out from Restless Customs. Uh, very good mate. Go very, very, very a long way back. So, yeah, thank you, Nash, for that. A huge shout out to you. Go check him out if you want a JDM. He's got a lot of Supras, 300ZX, Skylines, or I S15. S yeah, he's got a couple of S15As from. Uh, Fresh imports. Uh, his main source of think selling is eBay and Facebook. So you can catch him on Facebook. I think he's got a YouTube channel as well, so go check him out. So uh So yeah, abs on to uh the other garage in the other yard. Yep, and let's go store that skyline. Alright, we're here in this here, the R34 is here. It's all uh, ready to come off. Garage there, dry store it there. There you go, straight forward, straight down. Hopefully, quick look around underneath. That's how it's from underneath. Nice exhaust, LSD diff. Oof, exhaust isn't even connected. Look at that. Anyway, let's get this beast off the truck. That was a mess. What yeah. the? All we got is full of parts. Parts, 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 wing, Range Rovers, Range Rover. Where's the steering wheel? Where's the steering wheel? Yeah, no, we've got Range Rovers. Nice front bumper lights there. Anyway, enough with this. I don't want really to walk around this anymore. It's too much headache. Let's get you off the truck. Abs, let's put that quick release steering back on. Can't do it. Well, you can't do this quick release, dude. The rangey parts and all the parts that you got in here. There you go, totally quick release. What's wrong with you? Yes, it's on.
Yeah, it's fine. How is it from there? It's okay. All right, we got the R34 in dry storage. Wash the BMW Z4 as well. After how many years, Abs? What's that? The wash on the Z4? At least about five years. Five, six years. And I was saying, the R34 is in storage, and guess what? The garage is a tip. Nothing new there. Anyway, guys, that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Stay safe, stay blessed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you in the next one.